Hi friends, welcome to The Peaceful Home. Today I'm going to give you a quick update after my season of being out after the holidays and having COVID, and I'm going to give you a sneak peek of our vacation rental, the thrifting that I've been doing to furnish it, and also my plans coming up for 2022. If you're new here, I'm Teresa Elling. I'm a professional organizer, parenting coach, wife, and homeschool mom to six graduated kids. And I love to talk about all things home and family on this channel. Now, if you've been following me for a bit, um, I had a very, very busy season. Our daughter got married, um, our last of six, and then we went straight into the holidays. And then all of my plans for January were scuttled when I got COVID. And it was pretty crazy. Uh, two weeks in bed or on the couch, could not do anything, could not even read. Uh, the third week, I was able to get up and do a few things. And by the fourth week, pretty much getting back to normal. But it's pretty much taken me out for the month. And I am constantly reminded of Proverbs 16, which says, I will make my plans, but the Lord directs my steps. And so whatever I had planned for this season, obviously God had other plans. And my job was to submit to that and rest in him. And um, just really getting vision for this upcoming year. So I'd have to say overall, it's been a good season and I'm ready to move forward. Maybe not at the same pace I was going at before, but that's a good thing. We decided just a couple of months ago to turn our now empty nest guest house into a vacation rental. And our goal was to have that finished by the end of January. Well, I am filming today on January 31st and it is not ready, of course. My husband and I have really just jumped in in the last week. I've been thrifting like crazy to furnish this place. We've been working on DIY projects. Um, my husband is building luggage racks for me right now. We built a bed frame, headboard, in this walk-in closet turned into a mini bedroom. I can't wait to show you everything at the end, but today's gonna to be a sneak peek. I'm going to start with some of the things I've been thrifting. I have been getting almost all of the artwork for the vacation rental at thrift stores. I've just found beautiful landscape prints. I've gotten quite a few original oil paintings and I'm really excited to get all of those put up. If you saw my story on Instagram, I was really debating on one of the walls that was white. The whole place is painted white, but I really wanted a strong dark color as an accent wall. And it was really scary for me for some reason. And finally, I took the jump, I did it. I realized I probably could have even gone a little darker, but I'm very happy with this beautiful blue gray. And I'm going to have a gallery wall on that. So that's where all of these paintings are gonna go. One of the things that we did have to do was come up with a theme and kind of a design style for the place. And because we have a horse property, that was kind of in the leanings of making it a little bit more rustic. And um, I kind of in my mind had kind of this Ralph Lauren idea, you know, deep colors and plaids and rustic woods. And uh, so we, we kind of launched forward with that idea. And as I thrifted, I was able to find things that really kind of cemented those thoughts. Um, my plan was to include a lot of vintage and antique items, especially when it came to furniture. And I found this beautiful sideboard. It was $100, but it probably would have been more in an antique store. And I found it in this little hole in the wall thrift shop in Arroyo Grande and brought it home. I also thrifted almost all of the baskets. This one I'm probably going to hang, maybe put some dried flowers in it. Here's another example of a really unique and beautiful basket that I found. And most of these were anywhere from 50 cents to a couple of dollars. I also have thrifted quite a few flat baskets that I'm hoping to do a basket wall above the dining table. I'll pause right here just to show you some footage of what the guest house looked like just a few days ago. To be honest, it was absolute chaos and there was just as much clutter in my home. We were at the stage where we had purchased all of these things, but we didn't have any projects completed and nothing was put away. You could barely walk in the place. 
Now we have chosen to purchase all of our appliances and bedding brand new. And so I have a million Amazon boxes sitting out on my front porch right now. And it's going to take some time to get all of this stuff put in its proper place. Just yesterday, I was able to bring in the bookcase that I bought secondhand through Facebook Marketplace and load up all of the books that I had thrifted. I've also thrifted all of the decor for the vacation rental, including this really cool find, this equestrian bottle, and I figured it would fit great with the theme. I also have a collection of blue glass and I added a few more pieces and I'm going to be putting these in the pantry area of the kitchen. I found this clock. It was $7. This will go up on the gallery wall as well with all of those paintings. I wanted to show you one of my favorite DIY tricks for artwork, and that is to buy artwork and frames at the thrift store. However, I rarely find the two that I want together. So for example, I found this beautiful oak tree and I love it, but the frame is not the style that I want. So I knew that I needed to thrift a square frame where I could cut down the drawing just to the oak tree and reframe it. I found this square frame, which was a perfect size. The frame was actually green and I've already painted it black, but I'll just give you an idea of what this is gonna look like because I will cut down the tree and reframe it in this frame. And I think it will be perfect for the guest house. So just remember that you can purchase artwork you want, take it out and redonate the frame. And you also can purchase frames and take the artwork out and donate that. The last thrifted thing I wanna show you today is this beautiful trunk. I thrifted this at a large thrift store in Fresno. It was $25, such a steal. And I'm so excited to use it in the guest house. My plan is to redo the inside. It's pretty beat up. I might do a video on that restoration and then use that as storage for extra blankets and pillows. I wanted to move on to just a little bit of vision that I have for this year, 2022. You know that my content is all things home and family and that really encompasses quite a bit. And from time to time, I will be covering things like finances, possibly even home birth and homeschooling in the future, even touching on marriage and also ministry within the home. But it does seem that after over a year, I have really honed down to three main things. Um, with Christ as the foundation always, I will be hitting mainly decorating, organizing and parenting. I know not all of my videos will apply to you, but um, if you haven't subscribed, I invite you to do that and hit that notification bell. And at least you'll be alerted when I put up a new video and then you'll be able to decide if it's something that works for you, maybe something you can pass on to a friend or something that you skip that week. If you have any particular topics or questions about anything home and family, please comment below and let me know. I really love to gauge things towards my viewers whenever I can. Next week, I will be following up with my promised video in the series of organizing with kids on the two boxes that every child needs. Thanks so much for joining me today on The Peaceful Home. Have a great day.